Today, China's high-speed rail mileage is nearly 40,000 kilometers, ranking first in the world. Even the sum of the high-speed rail mileage of the countries ranked second to tenth is not comparable to that of China. It is not without reason that China has been able to achieve such a huge breakthrough in just a dozen years. And just a few days ago, a BBC reporter went to the site of rail laying in China and was completely impressed by the superb technology of China's high-speed rail. In this regard, the United States stated that China should share these technologies with the world. So, will China really do this? Let's take a closer look in this video. Looking around the world, no country can compare with China in terms of high-speed rail construction. In the field of high-speed rail, Japan and Germany were the former overlords, and they were the first countries to master high-speed rail technology. However, today, China's high-speed rail has dominated the world, which is why. In addition to benefiting from China's rich infrastructure technology and experience, the reason why China's high-speed rail can dominate the world is because we have mastered an important core technology in high-speed rail construction, that is, seamless steel rails. This technology is 100% independently developed by China, and only China has mastered it globally. Engineers want high-speed trains to be able to reach speeds of 250 or even 350 kilometers per hour, but also need to ensure the stability of the train movement, and the material and smoothness of the train track is obviously one of the most difficult problems to solve. Because when the train is in a state of high-speed movement, whether it is the gap between the rails or the unevenness and unevenness of the rail itself, it will have a more serious impact on the train. If China cannot find the most suitable method for the production and installation of seamless steel rails, resulting in deformation of the steel rails due to temperature differences or excessive rail gaps, then the high-speed rail will easily fall off the track when it is running at full speed. Therefore, the importance of rails to trains is actually very high. The track laid by the high-speed rail is made of synthetic steel, independently developed by China. The track steel is characterized by high strength, good toughness, corrosion resistance, high temperature resistance and good welding performance, which is suitable for high-speed rail laying. After the track laying is completed, there is another very important process, which is to seamlessly weld the connected rails. At this time, the rails need to be heated to more than 1000 degrees and then bonded together so that there is no gap. In this regard, the BBC reporter in the United States also lamented at the track laying site that steel can be joined together without a single gap, and it is estimated that only China can do it at present. First of all, the steel used in China's seamless steel rails is not ordinary steel, but special steel. The seamless rail developed by China can not only withstand the high speed rail at 300 km per hour, but even people cannot find a single bit of bump on the rail, which is why passengers do not feel the ups and downs like a green train when riding the high-speed rail, but very smooth. In fact, this kind of technology is not common in foreign countries, and the maintenance of rails after but jointing is also critical. Therefore, as the country with the longest high-speed rail in the world, China has put a lot of thought into its maintenance work. The most critical measure in the maintenance process is profile grinding, so that small damages on the rails can be repaired and ensure the normal operation of the high-speed rail. China has used 11 new patents in the rail maintenance process, making many countries envious of China's railway technology. It is not without reason that China's high-speed rail has achieved such a huge breakthrough in just over 10 years.
The four major instruments can be said to be indispensable. They are shield machine, bridge erecting machine, rail laying machine, and seamless rail technology. It is no wonder that China has rapidly grown from a technology importing country to the world's number one high speed rail country. The first is shield technology. In the process of high speed railway construction, it is inevitable to carry out tunnel engineering. Previously, digging tunnels in China could only be carried out by manual means, which was not only very inefficient, but also prone to danger. Later, China mastered its own shield machine technology, and the construction of subways and railway tunnels often had to cut holes through mountains, and the shield machine came in handy. Compared with the past excavation method of forklifts and explosives, this big guy in the underground such as entering the unmanned environment is obviously more controllable, which can greatly improve efficiency and save manpower. In the past, China spent 300 million yuan to import a shield machine from Germany, but now China exports it at a price of 200 million yuan. It took China nearly 15 years to go from completely relying on imports to innovative independent research and development. At present, China Railway Equipment has formed four series of shield tunneling products with more than 30 specifications and has developed more than 400 shield tunneling products in total. The second is viaduct technology. High-speed rail does not run on flat ground, but will choose to run on viaducts. After all, the speed of high-speed rail exceeds 250 km per hour, and a relatively safe environment must be provided. The viaduct can meet this point, and the erection of the viaduct also requires special equipment, which is a bridge erecting machine. Because modern viaducts adopt a modular design, each pier is built first, and then the bridge box is laid on the pier. In this way, building a bridge is like building blocks, and the efficiency can be greatly improved. China has successfully developed the world's first thousand-ton bridge erecting machine. Even a 40 meters long bridge box can be easily installed in China. The third is the track laying car technology. After the bridge and roadbed are repaired during the construction of the railway, track laying vehicles will be used to erect the rails. The crawler type fully automatic track laying vehicle is widely used in railway construction, which can automatically lay sleepers and rails during the process of advancing and the track is basically laid after the bolts are fixed. China has also specially developed wheeled track laying vehicles for tunnels. When laying tunnels, the tires of wheeled track laying vehicles can be folded at an angle of 0 to 45 degrees. The efficiency of this fully automatic track laying vehicle is twice that of traditional track laying vehicles. The fourth is the seamless rail technology introduced earlier in this issue. The reason why the high-speed rail is stable at high speed is all due to the credit of the seamless steel rail. In fact, the seamless rail is not completely without gaps, but is composed of multiple ultra-long rails, and the longest rail can reach 500 meters. The flatness error of the rail junction shall not exceed 0.2 millimeters. Compared with ordinary rail, the seamless rail eliminates the rail joint, so there is no impact brought by the joint, which greatly reduces the damage of the line, saves raw materials, reduces noise, and improves stability, thus saving the railway maintenance cost by 30 to 70%. It is precisely because of these important national weapons that China has made a qualitative leap in the mileage of high-speed railways, and it has also brought a strong impetus to China's economic development. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.